Hello! So today, um, the topic of discussion for me is uh, who am I and what motivates me? And um, the three questions that I had with this <clears throat> were, one, how can I keep my biases away from teaching others so I don't sway them to think my way without reason? Two, how can I be motivated to teach a section on something I don't really have a passion for or adequate knowledge on? And number three, what are some ways that I can help myself discover, uh, how, so that I can discover myself better and grow closer to my Heavenly Father? So, with the first question, how can I keep my biases away from teaching others so I don't sway them to think my way without reason? Um, just some thoughts that came to mind is that we aren't going to be good at it at first. Maybe it's just something that has to come with experience and the more you get to uh, learn your students and learn the curriculum, the better you can stick with the facts because you know more of it. Um, and then another thought is uh, just to make sure that your students are actually listening and that they're thinking for themselves. Um, so you don't just want to like throw out all this information and they just kind of take it for face value and not even think about it. So I think that's really important. And then also to allow them to explore things for themselves. Um, it's really important just to, it goes along with thinking for yourself, just um, what is it that I truly believe and not just letting them be swayed by an authority figure. And then also I think as a teacher's responsibility to um, differentiate what is actually fact and what is opinion. So before you state something that's completely your opinion to say, this is my opinion, this isn't you know, what it says in the book, this isn't a fact, it's just how I, this is my personal opinion, so that um, you can let them know that it's just your opinion. And then my next question is, how can I be motivated to teach a section on something I don't really have a passion for or adequate knowledge on? And I think this is something that, like, we will all experience sometime in our life, whether we're teachers or not. Um, we are given something and you know if we're like teaching a lesson in church or something like well I don't know anything about this um, so uh, an interesting thought to go along with that is to even if you're not passionate about the subject itself just be passionate about teaching in general and then the students will appreciate it hopefully um, and just be creative um, if you think the topic's boring, then your students are going to think it's boring, so make it exciting, you know, because uh, they, if you don't like a topic, then they're not going to like a topic, so that's important to do. And then the third question is, what are some ways that I can help discover myself better and grow closer to my Heavenly Father? Um, so I think it's just really important to just... Um, especially now it's almost Thanksgiving, just to really look for the little things in our lives and just be thankful for everything because um, he's given us so much. And, and if we aren't thankful for it, then, you know, what are we saying about him? You know, so if that made any sense. But if we're not thankful for what he gives us, then we're just kind of brushing aside all the blessings that he gives us. And I also, I actually uh, got this quote from Preach My Gospel, and it says, this knowledge, and it's talking about the gospel, um, gives us a sense of identity and belonging. It gives us a reason to hope for, uh, hope for eternal life in God's presence. I, I really like that, because it's saying, like, that with the knowledge that we have in the church, uh, it gives us something to live for, I guess, in a way. Because we know that in this life, if we do good things, and the Lord will bless us, and we will be blessed in the eternities also. So I think it's really important to just remember that. And also, just don't be afraid to ask questions to Heavenly Father. Just like we want our students to ask us questions, I'm sure Heavenly Father, is he wants to answer our questions also. So that concludes my presentation.